the church is the only remaining building from the town of Pickens Courthouse. Now, the bricks on this building, every one of them came from down the road here is the Kiwi River. The clay, mud, all that was used right here locally to build that, every single brick. Some people find it morbid or odd to roam around graveyards. I find it interesting because there's history here and there's people here, or at least there remains, and there's a story to be told. There's a lot of children's graves over here. All right, my wife is creeping off into the woods on a solo adventure. What'd you find over there? Check out this red clay. Oh yeah, we've got some foundation or walls. And let's get down in there. There's a, whoa, a fireplace. Oh, it's left of one. That's pretty sweet. So you have the fireplace right here. Normally, you know, not a big deal. It's a fireplace. It's old. It's decrepit. Uh, beautiful. But... If you're inside the house and the fireplace is here, then where I'm standing right here, this area, this is where stories were told, families came together, music was probably made and played. That's pretty cool. This is basically the heart of the house other than the people. And that is, that's pretty cool. These houses back then were not very big, so. You know, we're, uh, we're standing right in the heart of history. These two headstones belong to former reverend from 1850 to 1893 and his wife who passed away in 1912. Here's the grave of a small child, age two, who died in We have a few military veterans buried over here. Private John Holden, CA Volunteers, Confederate States of America, 1848 to 1911. Some of these tombstones go way off into the woods there. Let's see if we can get a look inside. The old Pickens Presbyterian Church, 1850, where Scottish, Irish, and English immigrants would congregate. The front was used for those in the town of Pickens Courthouse that were of white pigmentation. And the side entrance over here is where slaves would go in through the side, but never allowed through the front door. This is where we're at. We're in Oconee County. They have uh, a layout of the entire town 
Now there used to be not only the courthouse here, but where the graveyard now sits, these were people's houses. There was a house here, there was a house on the other side of the courthouse, or the church rather, and uh, down the hill here, supposedly there's a path over here. I don't know if we're gonna see any remains, but there's a hangman's hill where they used to take care of justice and uh, an old jailhouse. I don't know what we'll find or if there's anything left. There's also another cemetery down there, I think. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, sure enough. Looks like there's another graveyard down here. Not really seeing dates on these other than a few of them. 1841. All right, my wife said that there's a Revolutionary War soldier buried over here somewhere. I didn't find the grave of another Revolutionary soldier. It appears that based on these markings, these this cemetery uh, is a little bit different than the other one. The other one over there by the church is a Presbyterian cemetery, and this has a lot of markings of Methodist. All right, we may have located it. John Grisham. I have no idea if he's a relation to the author. Virginia, private, Virginia militia, Revolutionary War. June 22nd, 1835. Looks like this butts right up against what's called Craig Memorial Cemetery. I don't have a history on that. You may see off in the distance all that infrastructure over there is Duke Energy. There's a nuclear power plant right over there. In 1868, the townsfolk decided Pickens Courthouse was getting a little too busy for their liking. And another county was introduced, Oconee County. So they split the area. A lot of the folks picked up and moved, took it brick by brick, board by board, and moved their house here, there, and everywhere. And the only thing that remains, other than the graveyard, is this church. If you all enjoy videos like this, give it a thumbs up. And maybe subscribe if you're into that kind of thing. I'm also on social network, Aimless Adventures, Patreon, Aimless Adventures, Instagram, Facebook, that whole thing. So, appreciate you guys stopping by. I have a variety of content. Sometimes it's roadside attractions. Sometimes it's historical like this. Who knows where we'll be? Oddities, museums, you name it. Whatever I'm into. Whew. I'm into something, but into shape, I'm not. See you guys next time. Until then, adventure on.